Hello everyone, welcome to Jazz Tech TV. Today we will learn how to install Git, generate SSH keys, add SSH public keys on GitHub, creating a private repository, cloning the repository, and adding the files and pushing the updates to the repository. Let's get started. First, we will install Git. Open the browser. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Google Chrome. On the search bar, type download it and press enter. On the search result, first open ITSCM. Under downloads, click on download for Windows. Under standalone installer, click on 64 bit git for Windows setup. Download has started. Click on more and click downloads. And click show in folder. Double click the git installer. On the USC prompt, click yes. On the license agreement, click next. Leave the default installation path and click next. On the select components page, select the default option and click next. On the select start menu folder, leave the defaults and click next on choosing the default editor used by git leave the defaults and click next leave the default option click next under adjusting your path environment leave the defaults and click next on choosing the ssh executable leave the default click next you can leave the default options for all the screens and click next. Uncheck and select launch git bash. Click finish. I'll increase the font size. We have successfully installed git. Now let's generate SSH keys. To generate SSH keys, type SSH dash region hyphen T for type RSA and hyphen B 4096 space hyphen C double quotes. Type your email address and press enter. You can leave the default option and press enter. Press enter for passphrase. Press enter again. SSH keys are successfully generated. Let me clear the page. SSH keys are stored under the current user profile. Go to C drive. Users. The current user profile. 
dot ssh folder and these are the ssh keys this is the private key and this is the public key let's open the public key on the git bash type cat and tilde symbol forward slash dot ssh forward slash id rsa dot pub by this command we are trying to open the public keys under the current user home drive press enter copy the keys starting from ssh iphone rsa until the email address right click and copy go to your github profile click on profile and click settings on the left pane click ssh and gpg keys under ssh keys click on new ssh key paste the key here and type the comment and click on add ssh key now go back to git bash now we are going to configure git type git space config space dash dash global space user dot name space double quotes your name press enter now set the global email address type it space config space dash dash global space user dot email double quotes your email address and press enter we have configured git now let's create a repository on the github click on create repository type the name of the repository click on private and click create repository now let's clone this repository click on ssh click here to copy the repository url go back to git bash and type git space clone space and right click and click paste and press enter type yes to accept the key repository is successfully cloned type cd to change the directory and type the name of the repository which you created and press enter currently we are in the repository and we are in the main branch you can type it space remote space iphone v you can see the it url i have a sample java file i'm going to push it to my repository let's go to the downloads folder copy the java file i 
and paste the file. Now we are going to push the updates back to the GitHub. Now type git space status and press enter. It will show the newly added file. Let's add the file to the tracking. Type git space add space dot, which will add all the newly created files to the tracking. Now type git space commit space dash am and type the commit message and press enter. Commit is created. Let's push the file to the GitHub. Now type git space push space origin space name of the branch here the name of the branch is made press enter file is successfully pushed back to the github let's go to github and refresh you can see the file is pushed and the commit message and my friends, we have successfully installed Git, generated SSH keys, added SSH keys on the GitHub, created a private repository, cloned the repository, added new files to the repository, and pushed the updates to the repository. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.